Hey, it's me. I've been thinking every emotion we feel, every thought we have, even the smallest personality traits we hold, they're kind of like these invisible rays of light that are uniquely ours. In a similar way, there are spiritual laws that are always moving, creating their own threads of light. When our personal rays align with those rays of the spiritual laws, we find harmony and happiness in our lives. And when they don't, we experience disharmony and challenges that, you know, often we mistake as random misfortunes. The more we ignore the root causes of our difficulties by pushing them into our subconscious, the harder it becomes to see the connections and address them. If we truly want to be happy, I think we need to dig deep and address these flawed roots within ourselves. It's kind of a radical approach in that a lot of people are not doing this, but it's really about getting to the root of things. I think that's the path of healing and personal growth. You know, if you're seeking a connection with something greater, like a higher power, the universe, God. I've noticed that, you know, as you seek that connection, there's support, there's guidance that comes in. I feel like I'm in good hands, so to speak. Yet we might need outside help to remove the initial barriers. I think most of the time we do. These initial barriers that block our connection with the spiritual world, the help could come from different sources. It could could come from someone who's already walked this path. Maybe they're, you know, a few steps ahead of you, so to speak. It could come through spiritual guidance, like inner guidance. External help, though, I think is, is more of a starting point. It's like the seed because it's up to us to nurture the seed and work towards our own inner breakthrough. We can't truly accept or understand something just because someone tells us it's true. That's also the reason why, although external help is absolutely helpful, it's not the be all end all, right? We we often, It's not a full experience if we just uh, are doing this at the mental level, especially if we have internal doubts or resistance. All the profound truths and spiritual laws need to be personally experienced. It needs to be a known experience in order for them to become real and meaningful to us. It's the personal experience that allows us to apply the truths in our own lives. Insight, I think... I've noticed this. Insight comes when we establish a personal connection with the spiritual realm. And that can only happen when we break through to our higher selves. Higher truth, objective truth. If we ask the universe or our higher power to show me the truth, and we genuinely open ourselves up to it, will always receive an answer. I've never had the experience of not receiving an answer. Often, we're hesitant to take that step, though. We distract ourselves with worries and seemingly trivial matters, forgetting what's truly important. These worries are minor in comparison to the bigger picture. So I would propose, why not summon our inner desire for truth and open ourselves up? Let's ask for understanding. Because if we're sincere about improving ourselves and getting to know who we really are, the spiritual help we need will be there. It's there. The help can come progressively, often alternating between external guidance, and personal insights that act as answers and directions. Connecting with the spiritual world is sometimes called mediumship or channeling. 
but I don't think you have to be a medium. In fact, I know you do not have to be a medium to make this connection. Everyone, every single one of us can reach out in his or her own way to be open to it without setting any conditions or expectations that it has to happen in a specific way. More just being receptive, allowing guidance to come through when and how it's best for you. Right? So as you walk the path and commit yourself, not just in words, but also in actions, your life will gradually and naturally change. It's amazing how things fall into place without causing harm or disruption. I think we're getting to a place where we don't necessarily need suffering in order to learn our lessons anymore, right? Transitioning from a karmic state of being to a dharmic state of being. But we need to do our part by staying open and tuning in, so to speak. The more we practice being open, the stronger that ability becomes. Sometimes people think something is right simply because the opposite is wrong. But both extremes can be off the mark. A really obvious example of this is politics, right? Left versus right, red versus blue. I think it's glaringly obvious how, you know, often people will think something is right simply because the opposite is wrong. But is that always the case? As we grow, it's important to surround ourselves with like-minded people, like-hearted people who can support and inspire us. These relationships can help us grow without harming our well-being. And we shouldn't force anything, right? Ask for guidance, be willing to receive it, and trust that it will come, often in more wonderful ways than we even imagine. And those who've experienced this know what I'm talking about, know how profound it can feel. Sometimes people who've grown a lot might avoid others who are at different stages because of their past interactions, those past interactions having been challenging or stressful. But if we're well grounded on our path, we're going to be less likely to be negatively affected by interactions with others. And I think it's important to keep in mind that we often have the opportunity to help others. Right? Often our first instinct is to take the easy route. I've been there, I've done that, right? Avoid conflict. First instinct. But those who can those who can still be influenced negatively might avoid giving up certain relationships because they don't feel um, uncomfortable yet, right? It's like status quo, they're still in their comfort zone. They might think they can help others, but they might not be ready and could up and you know could end up feeling drained, right? Because they can they're still in a place where they're being influenced by negativity or negative energies. In that case, it might be better for them to seek out relationships that strengthen them, right? That lift them up. Now, on the other side, those who are strong enough not to be harmed or as easily influenced by those negative energies often are avoiding challenging relationships because they find them unpleasant, even when they can offer help. So it's, it's not talking about putting yourself in a situation that's toxic or abusive. That's not where, what I'm getting at, but... If someone who's progressed far still feels unhappy or restless, maybe it's because they're avoiding a difficult interaction where they could make a difference. Our souls are sensitive, and a feeling of unease might be a signal that something isn't quite right, right? And I want to say along with this that we can't automatically assume we're the one who's advanced and others are not. Because that usually is just our ego talking. So it's not like about like a comparison. We're not comparing ourselves to others. The key is to reflect on what feels most challenging or uncomfortable. 
that's what I'm trying to get at, that sometimes that's exactly where we need to focus our attention. That might hold the key to greater happiness if we're willing to embrace it fully. It's more about to, it's more as something to reflect. It's not about forcing ourselves to act a certain way. Just that idea of being open to guidance, asking for help, and staying receptive. That's really all we need to do. If we're not willing to follow the guidance we receive, then maybe we can't be helped. We miss out on so much because of that resistance. Because we forget to ask for help or don't want to think about it. There's a whole world of wonderful forces and light ready to embrace us, ready to support us. But sometimes we make it impossible. We keep those walls up because we're moving in a different direction or we're afraid to trust. Our own energies might not align with the greater reality. And as a result, that positive influence and help can't come in. It can't reach us. Anyway, something to think about. Let me know what you think. I love you. Let's connect soon.